Hello and welcome friends. You know, in the midst of celebrating our 300K subscriber count, which we absolutely adore you, we are about to gift you with another delicious spicy recipe. I'm gonna show you how to make the extra picante views chili seasoning, and I'm also gonna show you how to convert it into a nice delicious chili oil. What are you gonna use your seasoning for? You're gonna add that for wherever you need an extra kick of flavor. For our household, we like to eat things really spicy and we always end up adding chiltepines or hot sauce to whatever dish that we're having, whether it's our breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So I'm gonna show you how to convert into a seasoning and that seasoning is so amazing because you can keep it on the side of your table like you would salt and pepper. And then we're gonna show you how to use this chili oil because it's so delicious and it's great on proteins, fish, chicken, tacos, you name it. So. If I sound this excited, it's because it's that good. My whole family gobbles it up within a week. So this is about, what, the sixth batch I'm making? I, I, yeah, it might be more it, than that because we just did some too. <laughs> yeah, it's. I've made a lot of batches and I tend to change the flavors of the seasonings that I'm making. So I hope you guys are ready for this one because it's gonna be perfect for those special holiday gifts, birthday gifts. Get ready for it because we're bringing the heat today, yeah! Ooh. To a very hot pan where you can see the smoke, turn it off. Add your chile de árbol, your chiltepines, and your peppercorns. All I want is to roast these slightly. They burn quickly, so that's why you don't want to have your pan on. So you're going to do this and leave them here for about 30 seconds continuously. You know, move your pan. Make sure you have sick time at work. You're going to need it. <laughs> like these. You just want a slight roast, okay? We want those flavors to start coming out for us. So after about 30, 45 seconds, we're gonna go ahead and place them in a bowl so that we can start grinding. You look bitty bitty bum bum. <laughs> bitty 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 bum bum. <laughs> Friends, this is a very spicy recipe, so you're gonna need some scissors so that we can break this down to fit it into our grinder, okay? Don't use your hands, this is gonna be uh, very spicy if you touch your nose, your eyes, and I have allergies and I have a nervous tick or something, I'm always rubbing my nose, okay? <laughs> so be careful with this, but let me show you what we're doing. Wait, can you move to the right a little bit? My right? That right? Okay, the flames that you guys see in the background, oh. it's not a candle. It's her fireplace. It's a fireplace, guys. She <laughs> likes to set the mood when I come over. Well, it's been really cold. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm just, I'm just getting old. Has nothing to do with me then. You want to break your chiles as much as you can because you're going to get a better grind in your grinder. You can grind this down in your, um, what is that? The little blender we have called? That Nutribullet? The Nutribullet will chop this up. It won't be super, super fine, but it will be good enough for uh, for a seasoning, okay? Your Ninja Chopper is amazing. Not for this one. No, not for this one, but it is great. A great little chopper. So just get in there, break them down. You see big, big pieces? All of these chilies are linked in the Amazon storefront. I know someone had a question about um, they want to start cooking more of your recipes and mm -hmm. they're wondering where to get the chilies. They don't have access to a Hispanic, Latin American, or Mexican market. If you guys are in the West Coast, it's easy. Right. But everywhere else, it's not. It's not as easy to, to get these chilies. Okay, ready? So once you chop them up nicely, you're going to pour some in. So I'm going to do two segments because I do not want to overflow. Two segments. <laughs> two sessions. Two sessions. The setting that I use is I use for a fine grind, just like you, and I go with 12 cups so it can grind it really, really smooth. Okay? Ready? A fine grind. Fine grind. So let's pulverize it. Tres, dos, uno. If you see, the reason you want to chop it up fine is because you have to grind it a little bit longer because they stay like that. Right. Okay, they still kind of hold. In there when it's Do broken. not. Be careful, guys. Let's go again. Mm -hmm. 
I grind it down just a little bit and then I start adding a little bit more. Huge warning to you friends. Wear a mask. Wear a mask. Get a pañuelo, a bandana, wrap it around your face. Just something because this is spicy, you will start coughing. So it's just a fine grind, just like that. What I'm gonna be using is a tomato uh, chicken bouillon. If you have the regular bouillon, it works. If you have a vegetarian one, it works. But right now, the combo that I'm showing you guys is a top seller in my house. My older son absolutely loves this and puts it on just about everything. Popcorn, eggs, quesadillas for your sour cream and chips. He's using it. Not He's this, the chili. the chili blend. Oh, okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and add that in. Add your chili powder. So add your tomato uh, chicken bouillon. Mix that around well, okay? What's going on with my face right now is in Spanish we call that enchilada, which means you're full of spice. My nose is runny. This is a very spicy recipe, but it's so delicious. At this point, you want to taste it. You want to taste if you have enough of the saltiness that you're enjoying or that you know that your family likes, and then you can adjust from there. But for us, this works perfect. Hi, Raja. Bush baby. Hi, Bush baby. That's a good boy. It's yeah. spicy. You need to get out of here. <laughs> This is a container I like to use at my table um, for this particular seasoning. It has four large holes. It's easy to clean up. It's easy to reuse. And you can use these for a lot of things. They're going to be linked in the Amazon storefront. If you click on the description box, you'll be able to find that. It's right under the recipe ingredients. So I'm sexy girl. Oh, do I? Oh, hey, all groggy. <laughs> With the sniffling and the coughing. With the sniffling, who's gonna take care of me, huh? Me. <laughs> so I like to use these when I um, blend my own seasonings. Makes it a lot easier. This nice little funnel. And What's then that, I, a chopstick? This is a chopstick I'm using. Cute. I know, leave it to me to have pink chopsticks. <laughs> this whole container might last a week in my house. You guys know how we eat. So go ahead and put a lid on it. And then, you know, you shake it lightly. Don't go crazy. Shake it to the side. Shake it to this side. Shake it to that side. And pour it, pour it, pour it. <laughs> Add your oil. Today I'm using canola oil, which is what I like to use for these oils, okay? You want to use a wooden spoon, a wooden chopstick, never plastic, never metal. Put it in the oil. And when you see that bubbling, that means your oil is hot enough. So... Right then, just turn it off and get ready. I'm gonna use this Pyrex glass uh, cup, but you guys use something that you're comfortable and feel uh, safe, and I know a lot of people don't like to use glass, so it's gonna be up to you. Careful when you pour your oil. And start adding your seasoning and stir. I know a lot of you, when you made the, um, the regular chili oil, said that it burned. Your oil was too hot. Okay. The, bir the birria chili oil? The That's birria chili oil too. I try to make a variety of chili oils and if they're amazing and my family requests them a lot, I'm like, okay, the Views Club will like it. Oh, that's beautiful. Before you pour it into your container, stir it a little bit or else you're gonna get a lot of that seasoning to stay at the bottom and you wanna keep all of it, okay? Be careful, pour it in. You see, and we still even have some left. That's all the flavor. When all the oil sets to the bottom, just mix it, but my family tends to scoop it out and get the seasoning straight on whatever it is that they're eating. I know you've caught us a couple times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so good. Taste that little side cloud. No más una papita, nada. That's for later. Let me taste it. 
Mmm. Ooh. And for the finale, you want to add your sugar and stir it right at the end when you're done. Okay? Now, if you want to add sugar to your dry seasoning, you can, but I tend not to use sugar for that one, just for the chili oil. Now, let's talk about this chili oil. You guys are going to ask, Steph, how long can I keep this chili oil? Well, it's going to depend on a lot of things. How much oxygen, how, if you're using a clean spoon, if somebody's double dipping or not. That's, that's the first thing I want to say. The other one thing I want to say is that, have you ever purchased uh, infused oil with like garlic on how it's been setting on a shelf for like months? Well, this is gonna last a really long time because you're making it fresh at home. So I think for me, it doesn't last longer than like a week or two, so it's very difficult. But if you guys are gonna keep this, I think a good three months, right? Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? I don't know, for me it lasts, because it's only tops is eight days. <laughs> eight days for you? Yeah, <laughs> count it. <laughs> yeah, they last a really long time. The other thing that I want to say to you guys is that you can consume this right after you're done. Just be careful because it's hot, but it tastes best after you let it set for three days. So you can let it set on your counter, which is what I do. But if you're kind of iffy and you don't trust it, go ahead and put it in your refrigerator. It's going to be the same thing, but it's like it just keeps getting better and better. That's why I keep introducing these blends to you because they are so good. The chili oil and the chili seasoning is great on a variety of dishes. So whether you're going to use it for your chips with your sour cream, um, my family likes to put it over the eggs for the seasoning. We like to put it over uh, the popcorn. I love to put it over my fish, the chili the fi oil. The chili oil is <laughs> great on proteins. It yeah. really is. Or if you make a quick guisado and you want that spice, it's good. It's kind of like your tapatio salsa, you know what I mean? Your favorite hot sauce, that's what this is. And this is very, very spicy. It's not something that you're like, uh, I can ease into it. If you guys are gonna make this, know that the chile de arbol and the chita bean combo is spicy. So when we add those peppercorns, Flavor Town and Heatville, yeah? <laughs> and a boost of vitamin C. It is a great boost of vitamin C. And I, I don't know, we grew up eating a lot of spicy stuff, biting our chile when we eat. So if you're one of those people that like to bite a serrano or jalapeno, you guys are definitely gonna enjoy this one. So I hope, I hope that you guys make this and come back and let me know how it goes. And of course, Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios!